Hey guys, this is Chidero of Chidero's Bling, Chidero's Designs, and this tutorial is a pretty special one to me. Uh, this is my design um, that is made especially for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and its name is the official Bling for Breast Cancer Bracelet. So I made this design about three months ago, and sadly enough, it is the last day of October and I'm just getting um, the tutorial out. So it is a seven pin bar wide design. You can incorporate a lot of bling in a lot of different places. I wanted to make this one a little bit simpler just for the tutorial purpose. So I just added some beads on every other band on the border and then put the charm in the center. So this is what it looks like. And these are the new glitter pink silicone bands that Rainbow Loom is, uh, I believe, uh, has them coming out in December of this year. So the back, here is the back, and that's my charm band, which I would need to add a pink band. But that is the back of the bracelet. So it really can be worn either way that you would choose. Okay, so I used the um, metallic white and the LE pink. And then, like I said, these bands aren't available yet, but they are the glitter pink silicone bands. And then that's the pink sweets and then a gray cap band and the same pink as the border. Okay, so let's get our supplies and we will get started. And uh, mind you, this is one loom in length. You will need almost two looms in length for a complete wrap. Okay, so we are going to start out with two, four, six, seven, a seven pin bar setup. First and last are the same, go down one peg, those two are the same, go down another, same height, and up one. Okay? So when we start out the bracelet, the way that I'm um, color-wise, the way I'm going to do it is my border is going to be uh, different than the border in the beginning is not going to be the same color as the border going up the sides. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'm going to use white. So that's our starter band, and then we're going to come up like this and go out and then out. And then we're going to do the same on this side here. Okay, so after we do that, then we're going to start a every other pattern. So we're going to lay a border going straight in between some arrow bands. Okay, so our first band that we're going to lay is going to be an arrow that is pointing in. And then, oops, I'm sorry. This is what I want. This is my white. Okay, and then we're going to use some beaded bands on every other. I'm going to lay my beaded band and we're just going to lay a band going straight. That closes up the pattern. So then all we do is repeat. We're always laying these arrows that are pointing towards us. And I'm going to do every other band with a bead. So you just got to make sure that you lay those arrows before you lay your perimeter. Okay, so then we'll come back down and start this other side here. So you lay your arrow band first, and then you lay your perimeter band, arrow, and then I'm using plain band. So you do want to make sure that you're using the same on both sides.
We're going to have to do some maneuvering of these beads on these bands, so make sure that you're using the correct type of bead for the band that you're placing it on. Because if you're using a bead that's too small, it's very likely that you're going to cut that band and break it whenever we're finished doing the pattern and we pull it off the loom. Okay, so we want to do this all the way up. I'm only using one loom for the tutorial and I'll meet you back up at the end to show you how to close up. Okay, so we're at the end of our loom and I'm going to continue with my white. So you should have one peg left on both sides. So you want to come back down and then we just want to take it up a peg and then down two. So that way we have this center peg left. So again, on this side, up a peg, and then down two. Okay, so that's how we're gonna close it off. Okay, next step, super simple, but I'm going to quickly say hello to a new band that's coming out by Fen. These are the new silicone pink glitter bands. They're wonderful. They have a nice, um, like a darker um, glitter to them than the previous glitter pink. Uh, they are very durable and they're super easy to fix in a design. So the hardest part of my design, as far as fixing bands, is going to be the next bands that we lay and I want to use these um, because they're they're pretty cool so right now what we want to do is we want to start from the third and the fifth pin bar and we want to just lay single chain going up the loom that's all we're doing right now These are awesome bands. There are, I think she gave me a blue. It's like a glitter blue. Um, there's like a nice metallic-y kind of a gray. And then this super awesome maroon. And this other color, which is like um, a beige glitter, which is super elegant. I'm loving those. So, Keep your eyes out for the new bands coming out towards the holidays, hopefully. Okay, so we're taking this all the way up to the end like that. Okay, so I'm going to use the same band, same color for our next step. And it's easy. All we're going to do is lay a zigzag going up our limb. So we're starting from the second pin bar and going in. Sixth pin bar going in. So you're, enter, you're ending on that single chain and then we're just simply taking and going all the way up the loom with the zigzag. So where you left off is where you place your next. For those of you that may not know, I only live about 30 minutes from Rainbow Loom Headquarters, which is Fen and Chun's, um, where they work. So, when I do make it up for a visit, sometimes um, it's nice to get um, some new product to try out. But I do always ask if it's okay if I use it in a tutorial or show you guys because sometimes you may not be ready for that. But Fen gave me the go ahead. We had lunch a couple weeks ago. Fen is awesome. She's very down to earth. Both of them are. Very awesome to visit. And their team. Their team is really cool. All right, so just trying to get this done. So, just have a little more to go. And our last band is going to end up as where we started down below. So third pin bar in. So let me finish up this side here. 
And then we kind of just have maybe two more steps and cap ends. All right, so we are finished with that step. Now we come back down and our next two steps are going to be in together. So I wanna go back to my Ellie Pink and then I want to use the Sweets Baby Pink. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a single chain and a diamond pattern weaved in together. So the first band that you want to lay sorry, is going to kind of be seen. So I just want it to kind of pull in my perimeter pink. So first we lay a band going forward, and then we want to lay a band going out from the center bottom out to the other side and then we want to go in to the top of that jelly band like that and create a diamond and then we just simply take that band going forward again and then our bands out to the side out to the side and then back in creating a diamond super easy Sorry, I'm just not wanting this to be a super long tutorial, so I'm not trying to hurry, but don't forget that you guys always have the option to pause, rewind, fast forward, and play. But it is super important that you lay the bands this way and not just a single chain and then a diamond for when we go to loop it up. I prefer, like where I'm using these pink sweets, I prefer them to be LE because, I mean, it just gives it a nice dramatic look, but I like this color and because this is the official bling for breast cancer bracelet, we want to use our awareness colors. So for those of you that may not know, the reason that I am such a huge advocate of raising awareness, um, my mother had breast cancer uh, and she was in remission. She had a three year remission and it came back stage four. So she had it stage three and it wasn't her lymph nodes. Um, at the time I was married and I lived in North Carolina and when it came back, um, I kind of knew before she even went to the doctor and he told her um, every year we take would take my, my parents to Myrtle Beach. And um, my mother loves the beach, so that was my biggest thing I could do for her. Uh, it was like the highlight of my year. So anyway, we went down to the beach and she only would lay out and soak up the sun and read her book. And um, my son had a boogie board and um, my mother had said, come on, Antonio, Grammy's going out in the water with you and we're gonna use the boogie board. And it was the first time in my entire life that I ever saw my mother in an ocean further than her ankles and that was the time that I kind of knew that you know she may not be with us for for a very long time so let's come back down and the only thing we're gonna do now is we're going to place cap bands okay so I'm going to use silver so anyway um, we found out a little bit after they went home that she was, you know, she had cancer again. 
So our option for her kind of cancer, it's pretty much uncurable. If we knew it from the beginning, or at least I did, but she never said anything. Make a long story short, um, we didn't know she was terminal until maybe the week before she passed away. And it was around Christmas. And so I had planned on coming home. Let's see, she passed on December 11th. And so a few days before when I planned on coming home, I said, well, I'm going to wait. You know, we're all going to come up for Christmas. And she said, no, honey, you need to come now. And so... <laughs> I am a huge advocate of raising awareness because my mother was so brave and courageous and fought the battle alone because she felt she wanted to be treated normal and she didn't want anybody to look at her as a patient, but they wanted, she wanted everyone to look at her as a person. And so she fought her battle alone <laughs> and it chokes me up and she's definitely my hero. But now I loom for her and give all my bracelets that I do in the pink for uh, breast cancer patients. Just, I, maybe it's a little bit selfish, I don't know, but it just makes me get by one extra day um, because I, I didn't have that opportunity to spend with her in the six months that she was dying. She wouldn't allow it. If I'd say I wanted to come home, she'd say, no, why am I dying? And so you, you, you don't want to, you know, you don't want that to make her feel uncomfortable. So I only got a couple days with her before she died. But it all is good. And we're doing these breast cancer uh, bracelets and all of you that are sending them to me I I tear up because it's so sweet you're 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 making them and, and wanting me to give them out to the breast cancer patients as well so I, I'm so grateful and and I know my mom's smiling down at at all of us for for caring so okay that's my story let's start blooming so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to start right here in this cat band and we're going to loom this band down to these pegs here okay so under the cap band the first band it is the one that should be going back up here but we're just going to take it and we're going to flip our hook and attach it to the peg below it like that so it kind of does a little twist and that's why I was telling you I really prefer to use the LE bands because you won't see that under color with the LE so we're going to do the same thing over here and place that band on that peg there. So you have this little bit of a turned look. And so then our next step, see that cap band came off. Make sure that cap band's on. Our next step will be to bring this band going forward straight up. Okay, so then I want to go in again and do the same thing. This time, this band here that should be coming down is going to go up. So wherever that band is going to go, we're going to do the opposite. Okay? So then the next band will be the same as we did in the beginning. So it should be going here, but we're taking it down there. This band should be going here, but we're bringing it down here. So it's all twisted. Then we bring this band straight forward. Okay, so again, go through that pink band and that cat band, and grab that top band, take it to the opposite peg, up, the next band, opposite peg, up. Next band comes down, next band comes down, and then our next one goes straight up. Okay, so we'll go a little bit quicker. I want our cat band to fall off. This band goes up, up, down. 
go straight. Pretty much in the diamond bands, you're taking them to the opposite big. Okay, let's finish that all the way up and we'll meet back down so we can start our next. Step. Okay, so for our next step, we're just going to be turning some bands over the pegs. So we're going to start with the second pin up in these two center pin bars. So you see that we have two bands and then we have two underneath. Okay, what we want to do is we want to grab that bottom band and just slide it up and over. So then we go underneath these two, grab that bottom band, and bring it up and over. I'll show you from the side. See that bottom band? Grabbing that one and bringing it up and over. Okay, so we're doing that the whole way up on both sides. Okay, and we come back down to this left side. And again, it's the bottom one. Up and over. Now you can probably understand why I was very adamant on using LE bands for this step because they'll have a tendency to get a little twisted. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. So it's the bottom. this last one here okay so that's what your loom should look like so far and if you want to attempt to try to untwist some of them have at it but we still have more looping to do so they might still get a little bit twisted yeah that's super gonna bother me all right so, our next step is going to be bringing these bands that we have here in the zigzag, okay? So we're gonna go underneath. So we just have this one band here as our cap band. So we're going to go underneath it and we're going to grab this band and take it back to itself. Okay. And then we're going to go into this peg and grab the other side or the next one, pink, and pull it back to itself like that. Okay. And then we're going to take this band here and pull it straight forward. All right, so then we go back in. We're gonna go through some bands here and we wanna find that one that's going diagonally over to the left. And then we want to get that bottom band here and we want to pull that in like that. And then we want to take this next band in line to go over to the right. In. And then we want to Take this band here and go straight forward. OK, 
Okay, so then we reach down again, grab that band that's going out to the left, pull it out, and then grab this under part and pull it in. And go in here, grab this one that's going over to this side, and then we finish off by bringing the one that's going straight forward. So again, pulling it over to the left, grabbing that bottom part, bringing it up and over. This one now comes in, and then down below we grab the one that goes straight forward. Okay, so you're gonna have like these little bit of like loose loops. So we'll do one more on this side, and then we'll start the other side. So we bring that over, bring the bottom up, Stay in that peg, bring this one to the center, and then bringing this one straight forward. Okay, so then let's come over to this one and start. You can start the design pulling over bands on this one here. I didn't, because I just wanted to clarify which bands go where. So then we just pull this one inside, and then this one comes straight forward. Then we go all the way down and find this one going out to the right. And then we pull the bottom part up and over. Back in that peg, this one goes over to the center. Then back down and we grab this one to go straight forward. So again, over to the right, bottom one up and over. Stay in that peg, bring this one to the center. And then this one straight forward. Okay, just always remember to grab that band and bring it up and over. Like that. Okay, so we'll finish this one off and then we'll meet back down here to start limbing up our perimeter. Okay, so we have our last step, which is going to be looming up the zigzag and the border at the same time. So we wanna come in our center, take the top band back to itself, Next one, back to itself, down to this one. We're taking that back over there. And same with this side here, okay? And now I'm gonna start on this side. Well, no, I'll start on this side so you can see better because I'm left-handed. So then we take that perimeter acting band and we wanna pull it over there. So. Our next band in line to pull will be this pink one I have here with the bead. But we're not going to pull it straight forward. We're going to take it all the way up there like that. That's why I said we're going to be doing some maneuvering with our beads. Okay? So after we do that, then we're going to just simply loom these zigzag bands back to themselves. Okay? So then we take this pink one or your perimeter one going straight. We take it all the way up to that pin up there. And then we come back down and then we loom out the perimeter bands or the zigzags as normal. So again, come in and grab this band that goes straight and take it two pins up. Not anything that difficult. And there goes our X. One more time, the perimeter band goes up, and then we loom out our X bands or zigzag. Okay, and then same thing on this side. So we wanna take this bottom band and bring it over to the edge. Grab that band that's going forward and take it up to and two pins like that. Come back down, start our zigzag in, go back into this peg and the zigzag goes out. Take that top. Uh oh, oh yep, I'm right, okay. So the next band in line sh should be that band going forward, but we're gonna take it up to this pin here. Come back down, grab that 
zigzag in, zigzag out. Perimeter up, zigzag in, zigzag out. Do one more. Bring that band up, zigzag in, zigzag out. All right, so let's finish that up all the way and then we will take it off of our loom. All right, so I've already pulled left side off the loom, so just make sure that you do this peg by peg, especially because the center is tight. So easiest way is to pull your outside pin bars bands off those pins and then you can just kind of go in line with the next pin bar in. The outside is isn't that tight it's just the uh, the next pin all of those in my case the pink buns see what we have here. Give it a little stretch. I love it. It came out very pretty. So you have that one band that's connecting the border so it's a little bit nice and loose there. And the pink silk did great just a couple bands that I'll have to untwist but we want to take some of these beads and push them over you want to make sure you hold on to that band and don't just pull the bead because you'll break your band so I'm just pulling those beads so they are more centered And that one's gonna break if I move it so I can't even move it but that's okay okay so then you want to move your beads the same on the other side get them all kind of centered So again, this is the official Bling for Breast Cancer bracelet and um, you have many opportunities to add bling to it. I just added a little bit of a border with some bling and then I'm going to put a nice charm in the center. So thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for all of your kindness uh, during, you know, it's kind of a, a bittersweet month for me. Um, if you are following on Instagram and have helped raise awareness with um, the Blink for Breast Cancer um, awareness contest, uh, my heart goes to you for your kindness. So... I know I'm like super twisting bands and stuff, but that's it. Make sure you show your support. Um, if you do make this in the pink colors, uh, make sure that you do hashtag me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with hashtag official 
Bling for Breast Cancer bracelet. Okay? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.